Hi everybody, it's me, Autistic Genius, and today it's Relationship Week still, and we're talking about intimacy. Now, intimacy, we see as a beautiful thing. You know, in Hollywood, they paint it as some sort of romantic and amazing thing, and we see it that way, and we think it's going to be like that growing, and we think when we lose our vision, it's going to be beautiful like those films, and it never is. It's always very much a disaster. I know it's a bit bizarre to be talking about intimacy when I've got my dog here, but he's just here because he wants to be here. He's whining. So, when you're intimate with someone and you're autistic, it's awkward, it's different, and it's so unusual because you don't really know what to do. And most youngsters don't. They act like they do and they talk the talk, but when you actually do it, it's, mm, it's very different. The weirdest thing for me about intimacy, the hardest thing, and this is when they know a girl. Oh, they've done well and they like I like them. It's when I make contact, eye contact. Now, direct eye contact is so annoying and so difficult. In an intimate in an intimate moment, you make eye contact, you can't not make eye contact. So when you're like close, or just hugging, or lying together or whatever, you make eye contact and when I make eye contact, it's longer than normal. Normally it's like, done it. <laughs> oh, look, you guys, done. But this time it's like, it's intense. And it's so hard and so uncomfortable, but eventually it gets easier. It really does. And it is awesome when you can connect with someone and feel comfortable enough to make that, to make eye contact in that way. There's very few people I can do to make eye contact with. But the only person I really can properly is my partner. I see it. Anybody else I can just know. Let's look at their forehead. Or their feet if I'm really not comfortable. <laughs> the biggest fear is the unknown when you're autistic. And when you meet somebody and you want to be close with them, intimate, it's scary because it's the unknown and you don't really know what, you may not know what to do, or you may have an urge, you don't know what that urge is, you don't understand it, because the part of our body that tells us we're aroused is the same part of the body that tells us we're scared. So that's, those two feelings could get confused. Sounds bizarre. But it could be a reason why we get so anxious or why people get so anxious. That's all I've got time for. I'm sorry I've not gone into too much detail. I, I can't really. I've been instructed not to by my partner, which is fine. I'm trying to generalise it so it makes sense to as many people as possible. I hope it helps you in some way. My sort of experiences, and hopefully I've got that across to you, and hopefully people out there will get it and understand and be able to use that information to help them. Thank you so much. Have an amazing weekend. I'll see you all next week. Bye!